the art of a movement. Inspired by brave protesters on the streets of Iran being held up around the world. Masa Amini immortalized. Her arrest by Iran's so-called morality police over her headscarf, her death in their custody, fueling artists, their work echoing and amplifying Iranians' cries for women, life, freedom. Take a look at this poster in Mexico City. Say her name, it says. The image designed by Iranian-Canadian artist Hajar Muradi. So this is some of the art that we've been seeing. Yes. We caught up with Hajar at her studio in Toronto. When you were creating this, tell me how you were feeling. I felt um, anger and uh, I, wanted, I wanted to convey that Iranian women are angry and fed up. Anger has surged across Iran for weeks. Protesters demanding bodily autonomy for women and ends to the country's hardline regime. Some videos are getting out, but government internet blocks make it hard to see the true scale of this push for freedom and the push back against it. Few Iranian artists in the diaspora and others supporting this movement. Powerful images like these flooding social media. Hashtag Masa Amini posted, shared and reshared tens of millions of times all around the world. The whole purpose of this is to amplify Iranian people's voice. Hajar's art helps her cope with fears for loved ones still in Iran. When you learned of Massa's death, how did that impact you and your work? Of course, there was first, there's an anger, there's a huge anger in every Iranian woman <laughs> because of decades of suppression. What we want to do and what we are trying to do is to put our anger into work. Art and action. This is Hajar and a group of friends cutting their hair at a Toronto demonstration. An act of resistance symbolizing control over one's body featured in so much of the artwork, including Hajar's most recent piece. There with her at the Toronto protest was fellow Iranian artist Samin Karamati. In her Toronto studio, Samin is working on a sculpture that will be covered with hair, dedicated to Massa and the Iranian women who've been fighting repression for decades. Much of the hair has come from protests around the world over the last few weeks. What is the significance of incorporating so much hair in this installation? What does it say? I don't know how else can I say that this is my own body. And I want, I want, this is my body, just go away. Samin was also arrested by the so-called morality police before she left Iran in 2012. When you see what's going on now, how, how are you feeling in this moment? I'm learning from this young generation of girls. They are very brave. I'm just looking at them, learning from them, and try to be their voices and they're not backing down. They are not. It seems that they are not going back. How long will it take? I don't know, but women of Iran, they win. They are the winners. Ellen Morrow, CBC News, Toronto.